Okay guys, thank you and welcome back to another one of our videos. This video is going to be short and to the point. It's going to be covering the Polar 2 software, um, discussing the uh, firmware configuration for the Polar 2 printer. Um, so I've already downloaded it and uh, open up Marlin and open the configuration.h file and here it is. Um, I've mentioned this before but the Polar software is based on the SCARA software, which has been abandoned in, Pol in uh, Marlin 2.0, but uh, we worked on it enough to get it to work for Polar printers. Um, so if anybody's using this fork of Marlin and you want to use it for SCARA, it won't work. It's been rewritten for Polar printers. Um, so if you see SCARA in here, that's what that's about. So we have... Uh, we did this bod right here because we're working with Michael from Autodrop 360, uh, Autodrop 3D, which has a really nifty website um, and service that you can batch print prints online. And uh, of course, this printer is really good for this for that software configuration because it'll automatically eject the prints, and uh, you don't have to worry about a. Uh, um, cleaning the bed off and everything else. He does a delta printer with a push scraper that prints the print, pushes the prints off the bed. Um, but that's why the baud rate is uh, 57600, um, because that works best with his, uh, his custom uh, um, uh, Raspberry Pi image. So, extruders, all the normal stuff. Um, normal stuff here. We're using the MakerBot switches, so the uh, um, heads are reversed. The the in, the uh, homing is inversed, reversed. Uh, standard temperature sensor is sensor one. Uh, none of this is any different from standard Marlin config. Um, the only real place where it gets different is where we go two steps per millimeter, um, and the fact that we're using only two home switches. Um, because we don't have to home the rotation of the bed because it's a circle and it doesn't matter. Um, so yeah, here we go. End stops. Um, y max. We're, again, we're homing to the maximum end stops with this printer so that we don't have to worry about it crashing the bed or hitting the bed bolt or anything else like that in the middle of the bed. Um, so here we go. Steps per millimeter. Steps per unit. This is how many steps per degree. So to figure that out for your printer, you'd figure out your steps per microstep, your microstep level, your steps per rotation for your printer, so typically that's 16 and 200, and then you'd do, you divide the uh, um, big pulley underneath the bed by the little pulley on the motor, and you'd come up with this number here. Obviously the bigger the number you have, the um, more steps it takes to spin the bed and the slower your bed will spin, but the more accuracy you get. And that's something to note on a polar printer is your accuracy degrades as you go further away from the center of the hub because obviously the steps per degree are the same, but the further you go away from the center of the hub, the uh, um, less resolution you get. Now this was not an issue with uh, this level of gear reduction. Um, the lowest gear reduction you want to go is about 4 to 1, and... Uh, this is about five and a half to one is what we're doing right now. And then, of course, this is the steps per millimeter for uh, uh, the radian. Extruder, sorry, this is Z, and this is extruder. Default feed rates, everything else, that's all standard stuff. Um, now, we are using the Tremec drivers, which requires inverting the motor directions um, as typical from... Uh, um, as typical from a uh, standpoint of a uh, Allegro driver or a uh, Texas Instrument driver. And so these motor drivers here um, are inverted from how they would be if you're using an Allegro driver. So that's something to keep in note. Um, other than that, it's just a standard compile and upload like a normal uh, 3D printer. Um, happy printing. Let me know if you guys have any questions with the firmware. It was a lot of fun to write, um, to adapt and write for the Marlin. Um, the Marlin 2.0 for the Polar Printer and get it working correctly. Um, but anyways, yeah, I hope you guys have a good night and uh, see you in the next video.